Bibb County commissioners will meet next month to discuss adjusting funds to the budget to ensure some agencies can remain open. One of those programs is Meals on Wheels. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzinski met with a pastor who's bringing the community together to help with funds. Earlier, I spoke with Meals on Wheels of Middle Georgia Executive Director Tanya Graham Sims. Tanya Graham Sims, my apologies. She says commissioners say the program will be put back into the budget, but haven't received anything in, reading, in writing form. Other than just looking forward to the meal and the smiling face that brings it to me, um, it saves me money too. Because on a fixed income, I need all the help that I can get. Sherry Hatcher has multiple conditions that prevent her from standing for long periods of time, making it difficult to cook herself meals. So without the program, my nutrition level will go down. To feed one client in a 260 year period for the Meals on Wheels program cost over $1,700. People in the community know about Meals on Wheels and know what an impact that we make in the community. Meals on Wheels of Middle Georgia Executive Director Tanya Graham Sims says before the fiscal year 2019 budget cuts, they would receive usually over $47,000 from the county. She says commissioners say the program will receive $35,000, but won't know for certain until commissioners meet in August. Our clients depend on us. They have nowhere else to get these meals. We were kind of their last resort. To make up that $12,300 deficit, Graham Sims says she's been fundraising and submitting for grants. But a local church has stepped in to help bridge the gap. So we want to raise this 35000 as much as we can by August the 1st. If commissioners do cut funding by $12,000, that will force the program to cut 7,000 meals. At the end of the day, we need to make sure we take care of our youth and our elderly, or our uh, more seasoned people. If the doors close, that can leave some searching for the next meal or dollars for it. It means so much. Um, having the food, having somebody uh, to check on you, and also it helps with our budget. For those on the Meals on Wheels waiting list, they may have to wait just a little bit longer until the budget gets sorted out. Graham Sims assures me they will do all they can to keep serving those current clients. Shelby. Alrighty, thank you, Tanya. Well, so far, Pastor Johnson has raised around $4,000 for the program. Now, if you wish to donate to Meals on Wheels, you can head to our website, 41NBC.com, for more information.